say his name until he appears. And we're not talking about Joe Hendry. I wonder how many people actually get that. Hi everyone, Adam here, and this is a quick movie review of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and this stars Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, Catherine O'Hara, Jenny Otega, Justin Theroux, William Defoe. Yes, I know it's Willem. This just makes people angry on the internet. Willem Defoe, Monica Bellucci, Arthur Contour, and Directed by Tim Burton. Set about 30 years after the original, once again we have Michael Keaton returning to the title role. Due to a personal tragedy, the deets are back at the house we saw in the original. And this time we're introduced to a new character, played by Jenna Ortega, Astrid Dietz, the daughter of the daughter of Lydia. And due to certain circumstances, they, they open the gate to the afterlife due to the involvement of some other things and only one person can try to save them. That's Beetlejuice. Of course, he has ulterior motives. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about it. As for what I thought, I thought this was a pretty decent sequel. We learn a bit more of how things work in the afterlife. Uh, still a lot of black humour, quirky humour. I mean, it's a Tim Burton film, so you know going in there's going to be quirky moments. And Michael Keaton's role is expanded more in this than the original. He had about 17 minutes or something in the original, but it still stood out. You can tell Michael Keaton is just having a good time. Uh... It's good to see Winona Ryder back as Lydia too. She's now an adult but still having to deal with seeing dead people. Jenna Ortega. Um, fits in with the, uh, with the franchise pretty well. She's believable as the daughter of Lydia. But you know, I think one person who needs a lot of credit is Catherine O'Hara. She was funny in the original and she's pretty funny in this one too. And also Willem Dafoe as a cop in the afterlife. He has some pretty funny moments. And we also get uh, Monica Bellucci plays a, a villain. Yeah. Would have liked to have seen more of her, but I think she did pretty well with what she had. Yeah, so, you know, going into this type of movie, it is going to be weird. But it is funny and I did find it fairly entertaining yeah and there's a pretty fun musical number as well so I think if you like the first one you might like this one I've seen some people saying it's a bit overstuffed maybe it is but that didn't bother me so what am I going to score this I'll give it I'll give it a seven out of ten it's entertaining a pretty decent follow-up to the original um is it better than the original hmm, I don't know all right as always just my opinion feel free to disagree like, comment, subscribe. I'm Adam and I'll see you again soon.